Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Today we will continue with still in chapter 4 with bipolar junction transistors or BJT for part 2. Okay, now let's start with the transistor characteristic and parameter first. Okay, so uh, for our specified values of the base current or IB, okay, a set of a collector characteristic curves can be generated to show how the collector current or IC varies with the collector to emitter voltage or VCE. Okay, so this is uh, the curve for a single base current value. While this is for a set of base current values, which also known as a family curve. Okay, so from this curve, uh, we can see that there are four regions, which are saturation region, and then we have an active region, breakdown region, and finally a cutoff region, which will be discussed later. Okay. Okay, now let's talk about the saturation first. Okay, notice that in the circuit here, okay, both VBB and VCC are variable source of voltage as we want to have a varying set of the base current or IB. Okay, so when VBB is increased here, IB also increases and it will flow through the BE junction and goes to the ground because of the low impedance part to the ground. Okay, so as IB increase, IC also increases because we know that IC equal to DC beta IB. Okay, so when IB is increased, IC also increase as well. Okay. And this will result in VCE decrement as VCE equal to VCC minus IC RC. Okay, so high IC will result in high voltage drop across RC here. Okay, so thus uh, VCE will be decreased when IC increase. Okay, but when VCC is increased, so this is VCC, so when VCC is increased, VCE, VCC increase, VCE also increases as IC is increases until VCE reaches its saturation value of 0 0.7 volt. Okay, so at this point, the BC junction becomes forward bias and IC cannot increase further even if we continue increasing the base current. Okay, and at this point, this formula is no longer valid because the VCE is already at its saturation value. Okay, so this is the saturation region. Okay. okay, when VCE exit 0.7 volts here, okay, the BC junction, this is BC junction, will becomes reverse bias. Okay, and the transistor will go into active or linear region. Okay, and then even VCE, this is VCE, even VCE is increases okay the collector current or ic will increase very slightly and remains almost constant where the value of ic can be determined using this formula okay so ic equals to dc beta times ib and then when vce is high enough or very high here okay the reverse bias BC junction goes into breakdown region and the collector current will increases very quickly. 
and a transistor should never be operated in this breakdown region because it will cause an undesired collector current to flow. So this is not good. Okay, as mentioned before, for several values of base current or IB here, okay, the collector current IC versus VCE can be plotted to form a family of collector characteristic curve. And before this, we already discussed about a saturation region, active region, and also a breakdown region. Okay, so now when IB equals to zero here, okay, the transistor is actually in cut-off region. So this is cut-off region and actually it is very, very small. Okay, so looking at the circuit here, the base current IB is zero as the base region is open. Okay, and actually there will be a very small collector leakage current known as ICEO. But this uh, leakage current can be neglected in the circuit analysis because it is extremely small. So we can say that VCE equal to VCC. Okay. Okay, next the DC load line can be used to show the cutoff and saturation in collector characteristic curve. Okay, so this is the DC load line. Okay, so the top of the load line is at the saturation here where IC equals to IC saturation. Okay, and VCE equals to VCE saturation. Okay, meanwhile at the bottom of the load line is the ideal cutoff where IC equals to zero, thus the VCE equals to VCC. Okay, and along this load line is the active region or linear region. Okay, just like any other electronic device, the transistor also has limitation on its operation. Okay, so the maximum transistor rating here is actually the limitations of the transistor which normally stated in the manufacturer's data sheet. Okay, so typically the maximum ratings are given for the collector current or IC and then for the collector to emitter voltage or VCE and finally for the power dissipation. Okay, but the product of IC and VCE must not exceed the maximum power dissipation here. Okay, so for any given transistor, a maximum power dissipation curve can be plotted on the collector characteristic curve here. Okay, so looking at the graph, the, the IC max or the collector current, the maximum of the collector current is 50 milliamps while the maximum for the VCE is 20 volt okay and this is actually the maximum uh, power okay here is actually the maximum power this is PD max okay so this curve shows that the transistor should operate within this limit only. Okay, not in the shaded graph. Okay, so the transistor cannot operate in the shaded graph here. This is the shaded, sorry. This is the shaded graph. Okay, so that's it for today. Thank you for watching and see you again. Bye.